Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Amazon Kindle Fire running Google Android 4.1. And if you've seen my earlier videos, you'll know that while a couple of days ago we were able to get Android 4.1 up and running on the tablet, that not everything worked perfectly out of the box. The Wi-Fi took a little bit of work to get uh, running, screen rotation wasn't really looking great, and there wasn't hardware video acceleration. Most of those problems have now been fixed. Developer Hashcode has released a new version on uh, July 13th that fixes those problems. So let's first take a quick look at screen rotation, nice and smooth. Hardware video acceleration, which allows us to watch Netflix, among other things. So this is an unofficial build of Android 4.1, uh, which is based on the Android open source project. So as far as Google's concerned, it's pretty much good to go. Uh, Amazon doesn't necessarily support this, so you're going to need to uh, possibly void your warranty. Although it's really not that hard to get a Kindle Fire back to its stock running condition. So uh, if you wanted to give this a try, there's not that much risk involved, but it does take a little bit of technical know-how. You can find instructions for installing Android 4.1 at lilliputing.com. Let's take a quick look at some of the other things that you get here. Um, we've got the new notification area, the new home screen, and a feature that I really like here, which is that if you go to install things on the uh, home screen and there's not room for them, it will automatically move around widgets to make room for you. Um, you can see that it is running Android 4.1 and this is a kernel that again has hardware accelerated video. So uh, overall it works pretty nicely and uh, about as well as Android 4.0 even though it's only been a couple of days since 4.1 uh, was first released uh, for the Kindle Fire. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick look at how to turn your Kindle Fire into sort of a Nexus 7 without cameras with a slower processor and a lower resolution screen. But if you already have a Kindle Fire, um, it might keep you from thinking about spending another $200 to get a Nexus 7.